Hello and welcome, my name is Rafael Rivera and this is a video update for Composite. Composing is a SketchUp extension which allows you to create and export multiple rendering channels for compositing in something like Photoshop. Okay, so let me give you a real life example where you can use Composing and SketchUp in a practical way. I am starting to see comic book artists and manga artists starting to harness the power of 3D to save time for their backgrounds in their panels. And it's a cool thing to see that you create a mock-up of the scene that you want to create and you can use different camera angles for different panels. Now here's where composing comes handy because once you have all these scenes, you may only, let's say, want to export the shadows so that you can further edit it or you want to mask the background so you can change it or only export the lines, etc. So Composing not only exports all the scenes for you, but it also creates specific channels for you that you can use in your favorite painting app. The final goal is to get rid of the 3D, right? You want your backgrounds to look the part for a drawing, manga book or comic book. So that takes a lot of skills, I'm not taking that away, but 3D makes it a lot easier. Okay, so now that I got that out of the way, uh, let me explain what is new in this current version of Composing. We are in version 2.0.5. And the reason I'm making this update is because somebody made a request. So he asked me, what if we can export instead of all the scenes at one, have the option to export a single scene at a time. So I added that to this version. Another request was for the export settings to be saved even after he closes the extension or SketchUp. And now he doesn't need to constantly change the settings back to what he prefers to, because now the extension is smart enough to remember them. I also added the ability to toggle the anti-alias on and off on the export settings, and I fixed a bug that was affecting the ability to disable the transparency for the TIFF and PNG exports. Finally, I have added three more buttons. The first one says more tools, and this one will lead you to a page where you can find most of my SketchUp extensions. And this is very important because you can purchase my creations and that way you support me so that I can spend more time creating more content for SketchUp. Okay, so the second button will lead you to my blog, and this is where I'm going to start writing about how to use SketchUp as a game engine. And also I'm going to start writing about using SketchUp for manga or comic book creation. I'm very interested in that. So if you are like me and you like those topics, uh, please keep an eye or subscribe to get the latest content. Okay, so for the last button, we have the forum. There you can ask me questions about how to use my extensions or if you have any requests for them. Also, if you have a new idea that you want to see as a SketchUp extension, be sure to let me know there. All right, so this is it for now. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, see you later.